Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star, and this is my 1917 farmhouse. So like I said, this house was built in 1917. It's been around for a long time, guys. That's 102 years. My family has owned this house since 1939, when my great-grandfather bought the house and the 120 acres around the house for $7,000. Try doing that today. Around here, you're not even gonna be able to buy an acre for that much. So the house has five bedrooms upstairs, five rooms downstairs, two staircases, a giant basement, and a huge attic. So my grandfather lived in this house his entire life. He was born in this house, and he died in this house. So after he passed away, the house sat empty for a year while I was finishing up college. So now that I'm done with college, I moved in early May of 2019, and let's just say, my grandpa was pretty old school. He had a lot of stuff because, you know, you never know when you're gonna use something. So he held on to a lot of things. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know me, I like things very clean. I like knowing where everything is. I like organized. So when I moved in, I had, let's just say, a lot of cleaning to do. Let's flash back a few months to May when I moved in. Let's see what the house looked like, all the cleaning I've done. You'll see my little journey along the way as I went. I was totally learning how to talk to a camera too, so some parts are a little uncomfortable, but you know what, that's okay. Not only did the house progress in this journey, I progressed as well. Keep in mind, this stuff was definitely not done overnight as I farm full time and I YouTube full time. So basically whenever we got rainy days and stuff, I would hop in, work on stuff on the house. Late at night, I would still work on stuff at the house. Early in the morning, I would work at stuff on the house. So just kind of jump in between when I wasn't working on the farm. I was working on the house. With that stuff being said, let's go back a few months. Today's a really exciting day. I'm going to be moving into the house this week, so I wanna go through the whole thing, clean out the inside. We haven't done any cleaning since my grandpa passed away, so we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna pull the dump truck up under our window so we can throw out some trash. There's just some stuff in the house that is just pure trash, and then there's other stuff we want to sort through. We're going to be doing that today. It's too wet to be in the field, so we don't feel too guilty doing this. I'm going to pull this dump truck out quick and bring it over to the window, and then we'll get started tearing some rooms apart. Okay, we're going to be tossing out that window. Well, this room is mostly cleaned out. Just a few things left in here. We'll go to the next one. This one's got quite a bit of stuff in it. We're going to go through it quick, and then once we get this, we'll go to another one. Well, we went through everything in this room. There's a few things in here that need to be pulled out, but I'm gonna go to another room. This room doesn't have very much stuff in it. It won't take very long to clean out. We're making a good dent on this room. A few more minutes and it'll look totally different. Hey, you know what you doing? And then this room is not bad at all. As with any project, the first 90% flies by. The last 10% takes forever. This is the last 10% of the room. We'll pull this linoleum up. There's really nice hardwood floors under that. It's just sitting on top of it right now, but we need to get this bed out of here first. I wanna clean out another room first so I can put these old files in there. Once this room's cleaned out, then we're gonna vacuum it and it'll be good to go. Well, it's all cleaned out now. It just needs to be dusted and vacuumed. It's a good job for you, Dad. Hey, no way! I'm on strike. Out of cleaning out four rooms, this is how much trash we've accumulated. Look at that. That was empty when we started. Well, we're getting ready to vacuum here, and the first issue we ran into was with the outlets. So I had to run an extension cord from downstairs up to here, because these outlets are too small for the vacuum cleaner to plug into. Problem number one out of a million we'll probably run into. So let's get to vacuuming. Well, this room's all cleaned out now. Cleaned out this room, and now I'm gonna clean all this stuff off the table, find a new home for it, and then this room will be my roommate's office. And after I get that done, I'm gonna work on this room. Let's do a walkthrough real quick.
I've opened up every cabinet, pulled everything out, cleaned everything in it, cleaned out the inside of the cabinets, done that all the way around. I just have one in the corner there that I need to do yet. Waiting for dishes in the dishwasher to be cleaned up. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the miscellaneous drawers, and clean out all the junk, organize it. We are slowly but surely making a dent. Right now, I am dusting everything up here, and I would guess these have not been dusted for a very long time. <laughs> Yuck. I'm gonna wipe them off inside of a garbage bag on the floor, and then I'm gonna wash everything that can be washed, and the rest I'm just gonna wipe down and clean with some cleaning stuff. Then we're gonna redecorate a little bit. The kitchen has come a long way in the past couple days. I put three full days into cleaning this thing out. So now we're gonna move into the entryway and the stairs going up the back side of the house. Then I'm gonna work on the bathroom and then I'm gonna work on this little hallway. So those are my goals for today. This is the entryway coming into the house. This is just right off the kitchen. Big mess down here, just a lot of clutter. Then this little hallway here isn't too bad. That stuff needs to be cleaned out, sorted through, vacuumed in there as well, cobwebs wiped down, that kind of stuff. And then the bathroom isn't bad at all. I just need to go through a few things like stuff that was my grandpa's. For some reason in one of the rooms upstairs there was five bags of grass seed. Don't know what they were doing in the house but they're going in the shop. This is the little hallway at the bottom of the inside stairs. It's got quite a few things in it but we'll get this cleaned out. It'll be nice to be able to access all my doors from one spot because there's a door there, there's a door there, here, and here. I want to get this room all cleaned out and then there's a little closet there I want to clean out. There's a lot of pictures in the other room and a lot of those can go in there until I get the time to sort through them, but then they're not all out in the open. Okay, looks like we are ready for paint. Everything's been dusted off, cleaned, taped off. We're gonna start with the ceiling first and go from there. All I got in here all cleaned out and organized. I also got in here cleaned out. Got some carpenter tools at the bottom of the stairs. That's for the outside, so I'm keeping those in here so they stay dry. And I got the stairs all cleaned up. This is my towel pile of stuff that needs to be washed. I decided to do a little bit of cleaning in the living room. I'm gonna make this the dining room though, because right now that's the dining room, but I want that big table in here. I think it'd look a lot nicer, especially since it has a really nice cabinet here. And this room is just a little bit awkward for having furniture. The office has a long way to go. This is my laundry room in the basement. I'm not really looking forward to cleaning out this room, but it really needs to be done. It'll be a big relief once this is cleaned up. definitely coming along. I pulled the dining room table out of what was the dining room but is now going to be the living room and this is going to be the dining room and then I'm bringing some of the living room furniture into here. I still have a lot of stuff I need to go through and then we'll organize this and how we want the living room to look and then the parlor is around the corner here. It's currently my bedroom right now. I just painted a room upstairs so my bedroom is going to go upstairs and then the parlor is going to be able to be a parlor. I have a ton of stuff to go through here. There's a ton of stuff in the kitchen, and there's a ton of stuff in here. There's also a ton of stuff in this hallway. Okay, here we go. This room's gonna take a little bit of work. I've never seen this room any cleaner than it is right now, and I am almost 22 years old. So, it's been like this for a long time. We got a lot of stuff to go through. All these drawers are full of stuff. Gotta go through everything in these cabinets. Got some stuff to go through in the closet. The filing cabinets to go through. Got the desk to go through. Basically, I've, I found papers in here from 1997, so I can only imagine what's in those. Really excited to get this room cleaned out because this is gonna be the office and this is the last room that I have to go through. I'm very excited about that. After eight hours of cleaning, we've made a decent little dent. I've gone through everything in here except for the filing cabinets. Those are gonna be a day project in themselves. But everything on the desk here is stuff I need to sort through, find places for. Went through everything over here. This is coming out. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I want access to that door. I'm guessing this room's probably gonna take me a good two days to do, because there's a lot of papers I have to go through in here. And some of them are very important papers and some are not so important. So I gotta go through every single one. And these filing cabinets are packed full. This desk is packed full. These shelves over here are packed full. 
The closet's packed full. The shelves on the floor in front of the desk are packed full. The other desk is packed full. This is a little annoying. Are you guys sad? This is the last time this room is ever going to be green. I have everything trimmed. I've done two coats on all the trim. We're ready to start painting the walls. You bet I'm painting the closet too. Looks kind of gross in here. I am beyond excited to get my office back. Can you say no more green walls? Yeah, that's what I like. This is actually a gray color. When it's wet, it looks white, but it's a really light gray. I really like the look of it. It's gonna really lighten up the room, make it a good working environment. Now I just gotta paint the closet, and I'll start doing the ceiling, and then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do our second coat. Okay, here we got my closet, so when I forget how this all went together, we know. My room's a mess because I don't have anywhere to hang my shirts. Looks like they've been living up here for a little while. This attic is ginormous. All right, birds, let's get out. Come on, guys. All right, guys, come on. Let's go. Out your hole. Out your hole. Looks like one didn't make it out. You fly out right there. I will admit, it is pretty toasty up here. Guys, you look like a bunch of flies on the window. Just go out the hole. You know how you got in here. Oh boy, I've been cleaning out this room. Look how much stuff was hiding in there. Yikes. Now that you guys are done watching that series of chaos, are you ready to see what the house looks like now? Here it is. Okay, now we're back to real time. This is what it looks like today. So we're walking into the house. We got the nice little entryway here up to the landing. So from the landing here, we can either go into the kitchen or we can go upstairs. This used to be the servant staircase. So let's check out the kitchen first. My favorite part about the kitchen is the ceiling. When we're walking through the house here, you're gonna notice kind of a lighthouse theme. My grandfather collected lighthouses and he loved them. So I put a little bit of a lighthouse touch to different rooms throughout the house. So off the kitchen here, we have the dining room. Once again, I really love the ceilings in here. Keep in mind, all this wood is original to the house. My great grandmother did all the staining on it because when they moved into the house, all the wood wasn't finished yet. I'd say she did a pretty good job. So in the dining room here, just off of it, we have the office. My grandfather was actually born in this room. My favorite part about this room is the prisms, even though I have them covered up, but not for long. I use this office for my farm book work as well as my YouTube stuff. I spend a lot of time in this room. Looks a lot better not having green paint on these walls, doesn't it? So back here, we have the living room. There is a natural fireplace in the house. I have this little electrical fireplace in here right now, but that will get removed here later because I love the beauty of the old one. The woodwork in this house just blows my mind. Like I said, the ceilings just get me. My furniture is definitely not very modern. However, I don't use it very much, so it doesn't need to be. Around the corner in the living room, we have the parlor. Say hi to the camera guys. In the parlor here, it's just a nice little talking room. I need to get new drapes in here because all of these are really, really old and to be honest, they're pretty disgusting. Once I get these windows cleaned and I get the grove cleaned up outside, it's gonna have a really pretty view from this room. Once again, we have more prisms hiding in the windows. So out of the parlor here, we can pick a door, any door, pick a door. Let's go this one. This one takes us back into the dining room. This one takes us into the office. And then to the right of the dining room here, we have the living room door. Behind us, we have another room. This is where I have my deep freeze at the moment, but it takes us to the front porch. So here we have the main staircase. Once again, need to get something on this. Do you guys remember this room? These two pictures are pictures of the farm. That one was taken back in 1987, and that one was taken somewhere around 2005, back when it was somewhat clean. And then dad came along. I'm just kidding with you, dad. I really like this room because of the lights in the windows. It is so bright in here. I really like rooms that are lit up, and the prisms in the window just set it off. In case you're wondering about the sombrero, doesn't every white central Iowan 22-year-old male have a sombrero? 
closet. Do you guys remember the closet that was full of all these shelves? Well, we took out a wall of shelves. Now we got clothes that we can hang up and stuff we can still put on the shelves. Believe it or not, that closet took three gallons of paint to paint. I don't think that room had ever been painted since the original paint was put on. So 102 years ago, that room was painted. And believe me, the walls were dry. Across the hall here, we have what I call my winter room. I call this room my winter room because the room across the hall is on the north side of the house and it gets a little cold in there. Back in 1917, they didn't exactly have the greatest insulation in the world, if any. So this room tends to be a little cozier. So I'll sleep in here during the winter time. Out the door again, we'll go across the hall to the corner room. I have a roommate who lives with me. He uses this room as his office. Really bright room, nice view. I'd take you into this room, but that's where my roommate sleeps and I don't want to invade in his privacy. Down the hall a little more. Here we got a bathroom. Down the road here, I'd like to gut this room and then remodel it. That way I'll have two bathrooms in the house. So over here, we have the final bedroom. There used to be a door there, but it was letting in a lot of air. So we closed that door off and now we put in a window. I'm a really big fan of the furniture in this room. Both of these pieces are pretty stinking cool. Last but not least, we have the final bit of the hallway. Through that door is the attic. You guys know what the attic looks like. I'm not gonna go up there because nothing's changed. Since it's such a large cleaning task up there and I always seem to be super swamped, I'm thinking about just hiring a professional crew to come in and clean that out for me. And then lastly, this door here takes us to the servant's staircase. Voila, we're back where we started. Thank you guys for sitting in on the house tour with me. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you liked this video and the cleanup that happened, you should check out my other videos because what I'm doing with this house, I'm doing to the rest of the farm. There's a ton of cleanup, improvement, and everything in between going on. This house is not done yet. I just wanted to get everything cleaned out right now. I wanna be doing some remodeling as we go, but I don't exactly have a lot of pocket change right now but I will be filming all of my house journeys along the way throughout the years. This is just the beginning of the YouTube channel. So if you guys like what you see here, be sure to subscribe so that you can stick around for all the other projects we have going on.